Welcome to the battles we all face. And I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world today. In life, we reap what we sow, more than what we sow, and later than we sow. There was once a teacher who had done private tuition for two young students. When it came time to pay, the parent of the students became evasive and difficult. Several times the teacher made every effort to contact the parent, to communicate, to give every manner of opportunity possible, but no reply was given. Distraught and upset, the teacher turned to me, where I reminded her, there is no loss in divine law. What is yours can never be taken from you. Oh, it may take some time, and the money may pass through 50 or 60 different bank accounts or pairs of hands, but rest assured, it will find its way to you. The person who failed to pay, no matter what their circumstances, robbed themselves. For when we take a service or a product without paying the person who created it, or even communicating with that person, we are stealing stealing is an offense against the divine law and as a result the person will be stripped of the money to the exact value no matter how tightly they cling to it as the old proverb says those who cling to life will lose it but those who release life will gain it several weeks elapsed and just as I had seen so many times, the money found its way into the teacher's account at the exact moment it was supposed to. In our lives, and in this day, remember two things, my friends. There is no loss in divine law. What is given divinely can never be taken from us. And secondly, we reap what we sow, more than what we sow, and later than what we sow. So make sure you sow well, my friends. Namaste. God bless.